Sai, penso che non sia stato inutile stare insieme a te. Okay, welcome to Trey Piani Restaurant in the Princeton Forestal Village. My name is Jim Weaver. I'm the owner and the chef. And today I'm going to show you how to make a simple dish that's on my menu for lunch and for dinner. And it's a, a chicken uh, milanese, which is in the style of Milan. You might see this dish a lot of times with veal chops, but uh, this is a much less expensive way to make that. And it's still, it's, it's part entree and, and kind of part salad. So it's something really delicious for, uh, for the summer. What I have here is some chicken breast that we've uh, sliced so it's nice and thin. If you have a whole chicken breast, you might want to just pound it out a little bit because you want it to be kind of thin and so it cooks evenly and cooks quickly. And we're going to do a classic breading technique. We're going to dip that in flour. I've got some beaten egg here. It goes right in there. Right, same thing here. Flour. Egg. As I said, this is a classic breading technique. So if you're going to be breading fish or vegetables or chicken or cheese or whatever it is, this is generally uh, the way you do that because the flour will stick to the moisture of whatever it is, the egg will stick to the flour, and then the breadcrumb, which is a homemade breadcrumb here, will then stick to the egg. Okay, and you want to do this right before you're ready to cook so that you get a nice kind of a light texture when it's done cooking. If you bread it too far ahead of time, it tends to get a little bit, a uh, little heavier, a little clunky. Okay, right in there. Okay, then I've got a pan getting hot on the stove. So I'm gonna add some olive oil to that. And the chicken goes right into the pan. Now if you're breading a lot of stuff, one trick you might wanna consider is using one hand for the flour and the egg and the other one for the breadcrumb. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with what looks like breadcrumb mittens on your fingers at the end of the, of the process. Now, the other thing we're gonna do for this dish is we're just gonna serve it with a simple salad. This is a fresh baby arugula. This is the classic way it's done. I got a nice, beautiful vine ripe right tomato here. And for this, I like to cut this into little, into little wedges. Put that right in there. A little bit of sea salt. A little fresh pepper. We're gonna add some olive oil to that as well. Look at olive oil is a condiment. It's good for you. And the juice of about half a lemon per, per person. Right in there. See? I got the seeds in my hand that way. Boom. All right, so we have our salad ready. We're gonna flip our chicken breast over. Nice, perfect golden brown on the one side there. Doesn't that look good? You wanna make sure your chicken is cooked through, but don't overcook it because chicken breast can get very dry. We use a good quality uh, Amish style chicken here. But okay, I'm gonna turn off the pan. I'm gonna put the chicken right into our dish here. Beautiful. And then I've got this beautiful salad. I'm gonna go right in here. Arrange these tomatoes around a little bit. And all the rest of that little juice goes right in there. And then I like to garnish this with a little uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. And that is the dish. Chicken breast alla milanese at Trepiani Restaurant.